Allah min al-shaytan al-wajib. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Sabih isma rabbika al-a'la. Al-lazhi khulaq fa sawa. Wal-lazhi qaddar fa hada. Wal-lazhi yaqud al-mawa. فَجَعَلَهُ خُفَانَحُوَا سَنُقُوِيُكَ فَلَا تَنْزَى إِلَّا مَا شَاءَ اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ يَعْلَمُ الْجَهْرُ وَمَا يَخْفَى وَنُيَسِّرُكَ لِلْيُسْرَى فَلَكْ Kew inna fi'atid zikwa Sayyadzakahu man yakhsha Wa yatajannahu al-ashqa Al-lazhi yuslannahu al-kubwa Thumma la yamutu fiha wa la yahya قُلْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ تَزَكَّى وَذَكَرَ اسْمَ رَبِّهِ فَصَلَّى بَلْ تُعْثِرُونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ وَبَقَى إِنَّ هَذَا فِي الصُّحُفِ الْأُولَى صحف إبراهيم وموسى صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم رام كربلا 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 Karbala, Karbala, Karbala I left my heart in Karbala In Karbala, in Karbala From Karbala, Karbala, Karbala To Karbala, Karbala, Karbala I left my heart in Karbala, in Karbala, in Karbala. The luminous smooth lightning the way, the rising sun that brightens the day. Heaven without you won't be the same. You're the heaven in Karbala, in Karbala, in Karbala. Your visitors offer you the heart. Enemies will never understand. How can the water move to the sound? How can the thirst win in Karbala? In Karbala, in Karbala. Why? Heaven is opening, Yah Hussein. Why? Angels descending, Yah Hussein. Why? They are reciting Karbala, in Karbala, in Karbala. From Karbala, Karbala, Karbala to Karbala, Karbala, Karbala. In Karbala, in Karbala, in Karbala. From Karbala, Karbala, Karbala to Karbala, Karbala, Karbala. I, I left my heart in Karbala, in Karbala, in Karbala. The ship that sails with me through the waves 
and whoever boards your ship is safe. Immune from the hardships of the grave. Whoever mourns you in Karbala, in Karbala, in Karbala. When, when will we meet again, Yahusain? When, under your dome will I breathe again? From Najaf I walked into Karbala, in Karbala, in Karbala. From Karbala, Karbala, Karbala to Karbala, Karbala, Karbala. I, I left my heart in Karbala. In Karbala, in Karbala. Aaj bhi Zainab ki aati hai sada bhai Hussain. Aaj bhi Zainab ki aati hai sada bhai Hussain. Tera chehra, teri aakhe, bhool kab paai Hussain. Aaj bhi Zainab ki aati hai sada bhai Hussain. Chal dena ke se खुद को जलती रेत पर चलते ना के से गिराया खुद को जलती रेत पर घुटनियों के बल में तेरी लाश तक आई हुसैन आज भी जैनब की आती है सदा भाई हुसैन बस में घबराई थी खंजर तुझे पे चलता देख कर बस में घबराई खंजर तुझ पे चलता देख कर फिर किसी मुश्किल में गिर कर मैं न घबराई हुसैन आज भी जैनब की आती है सदा भाई कौन था जो मरने वालों में नहीं था खूबरू कौन था जो मरने वालों में नहीं था खूबरू भूलने बैठी तो किस किस की न याद आई हुसैन आज भी जैनब की आती है सदा भाई हुसैन बह रहे थे आख से आंसू तेरी रुक सात के वाक बह रहे थे आख से आंसू तेरी रुक सात के वाक फिर कोई आंसू न टप का आख पथराई हुसैन 
आज भी जैन बेकियाती है सदा भाई हुसैन हाथ में कूजे लिए सब आसमां तक ते रहे हाथ में कूजे लिए सब आसमां तक ते रहे अब ने एक बूंद पानी की न बरसाई हुसैन आज भी जैनब कियाती है सदा भाई हुसैन दूर उफता सफर से लौट कर मैंने जयान दूर उफता सफर से लौट कर मैंने जयान ठंडा पानी जब पिया बस तेरी याद आई हुसैन आज भी जैनब कियाती है सदा भाई हुसैन आज भी जैनब कियाती है सदा भाई हुसैन तेरा चेहरा तेरी आखे भूल कब पाई हुसैन आज भी जैनब कियाती है सदा भाई हुसैन Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's good to see you guys again. I'm Tahira Mehdiya and, and I'm Azra Hasnadi. Tonight's the first night of Muharram um, and we wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. I know Azra Auntie had a question that she wanted to share. Well, yes, I mean, it's good to see you. It's been a long time since we've met. You too. But I do keep wondering, Tahira Mehdiya, why are we here again? Year after year, we gather. And perhaps we can't gather these recently in the ways that we're used to, mm. but even virtually we're still meeting, listening to the same lectures, and it's the same story about the same battle, year after year. Nothing really changes, and I'm just curious about why we keep doing this. I've thought the same thing, and I'm sure many of you guys have as well. Uh, I remember even one year, so obviously we start our year sad, um, every year Muharram is the first month of the year and we started sad, we started crying, we started going to Majalis. And I remember one year when I was younger, it was New Year's, English New Year's at the same time. And we were literally sitting in Majalis, um, sad for Imam Hussein alayhi salam, and outside there were fireworks and people celebrating. And I remember thinking, why, why do we do this every year? I think there's a few things. Um, that we need to think about. So one thing is if you imagine somebody in your family passing away, if you can think of somebody in your family who maybe has passed away, your grandparents, or if you know you have a friend whose, par whose grandparents or something like that has passed away, it's a very sad time. Um, and it's not something you get over straight away. It takes you time to get over. Imam Hussein al Islam is closer to us than our own parents. He's closer to us than our own father. The grief and the sadness we have for him, it's unshakable. We can't take it away. And something like that, it, it sticks inside you. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Undeniably, this is one of the most tragic times of the year. I've often had comments from non-Muslim friends or colleagues at work, and even when I was in high school, they'd find out it was the beginning of our Islamic year. And they would say, Happy New Year. And it was a little bit awkward, but I had to pluck up the courage to say, that's really kind of you, thank you. But actually for us, it's a time of real reflection, of setting goals. And what I used to say to them, it, I say, it's a bit like, you know when you guys are done with all your celebrating and then you sit down and you think, right, what's my New Year's resolution? Exactly. It's a bit like that, 
but we're not doing it in a happy way because actually something really tragic happened a really long time ago. But what I say to them is that the story that happened then is still so relevant now. And no matter how many times you hear it, everyone cries, or at the very least, your heart feels so low and so sad. Um, and there's kind of two sides to that coin, right? Because on the one hand, you're really sad. In fact, you're overwhelmed with grief. I don't think you could ever have heard such a tragic story as what happened in Karbala. But the flip side of that is, it stirs this feeling in you to do something about it. Like, surely we can't just gather and start our new year sad every year and that's it. That can't be the full stop, can it? Exactly, you're so right. I think emotion, being emotional about something, um, feeling really sad or really happy about something brings you really close together as well. Um, so I think when we all get together for Majalis and we're all sitting there together, we know why we've come. For example, we know right now, we could be, you guys could be outside playing, you guys could be outside doing something else, but you're sitting down with your family and you know that all your friends are doing the same thing. Sitting down right now, again, to listen to Majalis and stories of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. There's something uniting in that. There's a beautiful feeling where you're saying, I'm a Shia of Imam Hussain alayhi salam, and every year I'm reminding myself, that's who I am first. Before anything else, I'm a Shia, a lover of Imam Hussein. And every year, regardless of what else is going on, regardless if there's football going on, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to make sure that I'm remembering Imam Hussein and bringing that, that grief and that sadness to the front of my heart again. There's something very uniting about that. Absolutely. And you know, I have a question for some of you. Probably lots of you are in school or maybe at Madrasa, and I'm sure that your school or Madrasa has core values or some kind of saying that the head teacher says in every assembly or it's on your website or something. But it's the same message every year, right? The school's core values don't change. The behavior chart you have in your classroom or the rights that they talk about, they're the same. And your teachers, your head teacher talks about it the same every year because we all need a reminder. Who are you? What do you believe in? What are you striving for? What are you working for? What do you love? Who do you love? We're so busy, like school and clubs and homework and this and that. I think it's actually the biggest blessing that every year Allah brings us together. He kind of wakes up our hearts, unites us, like you said, in grief and emotion and that deep feeling to remind us to kind of re it's a bit like pressing a reset button, mm. you know, to bring us back to what's important and what we stand up for and what we believe in. Like at the time of the recording this, it's football fever. Right? Exactly. So right now, uh, the final for football is on Sunday. Everybody is super hyped. And we were just thinking about it. Every four years, we get hyped again. Every four years. Every time there's a year and England are getting close, even if we think they're not going to win, which hopefully they do, we get excited. At the moment, if you go out on the street and you talk to... It doesn't matter what race they are, what um, religion they are, whether they're a boy or a girl, whether they're young or old. Right now, at this moment that we're recording, if I went out on the street and told anybody, football's coming home, they're going to smile back at me. So you get that unity, you get that feeling that you're all in it together. And this is a thousand million times more important, more inspiring, more of a chance for us to change. And it's something which brings us together in such a beautiful way every year. Um, but the question I have now is, we go to so many majalis, we've heard so many lectures year after year. What, what if every year we hear the lectures and nothing changes? Um, what is, is there a next step that we need to take? Do you know that reminds me of a hadith of Imam Ali, that actually the best of actions is one, well it's something like the best of, action, best of knowledge, sorry, is that which leads to action. Mm. And it's a bit like that story of the donkey you know what Allah says, I think it's surah number 62, check it out, see if you know what the name of the surah is, ayah number 5, talks about the donkey and how holding all this knowledge or just taking in or listening to lots of information is fine, but it's a bit like that donkey that carries a load, just walks around with books on its back and that's it. We need to actually digest the information and do something about it. If we think about Karbala and the specifics for a second, remember, Imam wrote a letter to his friend Habib. I know for a fact, 
We all want to be friends of Imam, right? Put your hands up if you want to be a friend of Imam. If you want to be one of those people that Imam writes a letter to, look, Dara Mathia definitely wants to be a friend of Imam. Well, if you want to be the kind of person that receives a letter from your Imam calling you to action, he needs to know that when you're listening to these stories year after year, that when you get that letter, you're not going to sit back and go, oh, just another story, just another battle, just another tragedy. It needs to hit you in such a way that you stand up straight away, just like Habib did, and you go straight away to his aid. Habib was so old, but it didn't stop him, right? So we can't ever think to ourselves, that I'm too young, I'm too old, I'm too busy, whatever. Allah is like watering your soul every year when you listen to this story. So when the time is right, you are 100% ready to go, to do something. So I guess, to answer your question, the next step is to do something, right? A hundred percent. There's a lesson to be learned in every lecture that we hear. Exactly. I think the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put you here right now listening to this lecture, the fact that everything came together so that you could be sitting here with your family, listening to a lecture of Imam Hussain, but listening to this specific lecture of Imam Hussain alayhi salam, means that he wants you to take something from this lecture. And he'll ask you, why did you listen? What did you do from this? Why did you listen to another lecture of Imam Hussain alayhi salam? What did it change in you, um, yourself? So the takeaway point that we want you to take, and we want you to try out, and we're going to do it as well, um, is to think of a specific resolution. It's the beginning of the year, first month of the year. It's the time for New Year's resolutions. Let the love of Imam Hussain alayhi salam, let it penetrate, let it go right inside your heart, and let it um, make a resolution for you. Let Think about something that you need to change, maybe something that you could be doing a little bit better, or something that you could do a little bit less of that isn't so good, and put it on a piece of paper so you can see it. Write it out, I think even draw pictures. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Something which you can see, and then when you see it, it inspires you every day, this Muharram, until Arba'een, to, to try and do, to become a better person. So when Imam Hussain alayhi salam, when Imam Mahdi alayhi salam writes you that letter, or, or is calling for you to come, you're ready because you become a better person every year for Imam Hussain, for Imam Mahdi Absolutely, and hey, we would love to hear what your resolutions are, so get in touch, write in the comments, let us know however way you want to. Um, we'd love to hear what your resolutions are, we'll share with you what ours are, and inshallah, together, as we're uniting in this, in this holy month, to remember what happened in Karbala, let's make Imam proud. Let's do something and make this month really count, inshallah. We'll see you again tomorrow. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hussein, ya Hussein, ya Hussein, ya Hussein. 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 Hussein, ya Hussein, ya Hussein, ya Hussein.
Hussein, Yahusain, 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 Hussein, Yahusain, 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 Hussein, Yahusain, 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 Hussein, Yahusain, 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 H